It doesn't last that long. So the question is... Okay, I will try not to start any trouble. Will it last us long enough to get back to Raven... Ro oh, I forgot about him. Oh, okay, and that's amazing because fire definitely has a way of jogging one's memory. Well, morning is rapidly approaching, so I'm afraid we're not getting a night's sleep tonight. As tempting as that might seem. Actually, you know, if I did sleep here, we might get lucky and I might wake up closer to Raven Rock. Unfortunately, let's face it, we're very rarely lucky, and in this particular case, we're defining lucky as waking up doing manual labor. So I'm thinking what we do is we head back to Raven Rock right now. We give Captain Veloth? Veleth? Whatever his name is, the news that we are absolutely awesome and that his problems have now been fixed. Bass in the adoration of the people of Raven Rock and hope there's some sort of reward. And then find a new steward for Neloth. I can't help but feel that might actually be the toughest job because I'm trying to imagine what sort of person would willingly work for that man. I'm thinking we do a lot of lying. Yes, we do an awful lot of, um, we're going to call it marketing. What are we? It's that, that's what I'm fearing. I want you to be here keeping me company, keeping me safe, and right about now, also keeping me awake. No, no, really, come on, find a way. I don't even know if I'm going in the right direction. Let's face it, I'm probably not going in the right direction. Does this look roadish to you? He says. Here we go! He's sleep Oh, right, we're here. I am here, and luckily for you, I had just stopped urinating. Oh, sorry, you needed a few. Oh, I am very sorry. Yes, no, that was I am. You want to talk? Yes, no, I'm just very sorry. Just, just, just. Are you okay? I'm thinking. What are you thinking? Yeah, I was. No, I'm sorry. It was. I wasn't thinking. What's I was. Next? I thought you were. I thought you were just. Okay, well, there's this, this sounds of digging going on, so that's good. That is good. I think the road is somewhere down here. I'll tell you what. Sing me a song. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Mm -hmm. uh, could uh, I need you to do something? What would you have me do? Sing me a song. I will cage you if I no, can. no, no, no. I want you to. I want, no, no. Something on your mind? Mind if I ask you something? Where? Uh, yeah, no. Uh, Go ahead, ask away. Can you sing a song for me? Uh, no, 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 no. Oh, oh. I am always here for you, my friend. You are, but you're not. You don't want to sing for me. I've, 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 I've forgotten how to ask nicely. Have I forgotten where the hell I'm going? No, no, we're 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 heading in the right direction. We just follow the road around. Um. Okay. What is that? That is something that isn't affected by... Okay, it's just going to... I was going to say it's going to ignore us, but it's not. It's something that's not affected by paralysis. Target down. Unfortunately. Um... Is this? None of our business, I mm think. -hmm. 
Okay, this person... Is this... In a go, I think this person... Oh, God! Does not... Oh, my God, what on earth is... I am... It's... You die like the rest when you mess with the best. <laughs> See, now you... This is what I want. I want you to cheer me up. I want you to cheer me up. Deadly paralysis poison. Paralyzed at 22 seconds. That's your idea of deadly. That's your idea of deadly. Dear, oh dear. Complete amateurs. Yes, indeed. Okay, we've made it. You're awfully quiet when running on ash, you know that. So, now we need to find the good captain, wherever he might be. Excuse me? If you intend to wander Soulstone, you do so at your own risk. Okay, well that's very, very helpful advice. I'm, I'm looking for... This is the... The guy who's in... Hello, are you... Is that the captain? Is that the captain? If you witness yes. suspicious activity, Hello. Uh, report it to Captain Velleth immediately. Define suspicious. Especially here. Okay, he's gone in here. Right, okay. Um, Maybe he's looking for a... Oh, God, he better not get the room. Hello? Oh, there he is. What news do you bring from Fort Frostmoth? Excellent news! I've killed General Carius. I had my suspicions that he was undead. How else could he have survived for over 200 years? Okay, I think it's... It's a shame. A little... There are quite a few tales of General Carius' exploits, including the founding of Raven Rock. He'll no longer send Ashspawn to Raven Rock. Yeah, thing is, he's, I'm still not 100% sure about the process that brought him back and whether he classified as undead. He probably did. But he, 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 he seemed... Here's the thing. Don't ask me how I know this, but his body was actually a living organism responding to various things that only a living organism would respond to. If you get my gist. Uh, anyway, d the problem's gone. Councillor Morvane told me to give this to you if you made it back in one piece. Okay. And you got rid of General Carius. Better than a soldier's pay, so you should be thankful. Whoa. Okay, that's that's not... Uh, did you need anything else? I'm sorry to bother you, but Second Councillor Rano asked me to come find you. He said it's quite urgent. Okay. Did he say what it's about? All he wanted me to do is track you down and send you to him. Okay. Look, this is important. Even more important than wiping out the ash spawn. Right. Please, go speak to the Second Councillor as soon as possible. Well, I mean... That's the guy that we met on the boat, isn't it? That's the guy we met on the boat. Okay, the thing is, 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 is... Really could do with a bit of a snooze, would it? I, we can't go and see the counselor in this sleep-deprived state. I really wanted to just... Okay, we need to find somebody who'll... Oh, God, it's too early, isn't it? We're not going to find anyone. Who are we going to be looking for? Should we just go and see the counselor and see what he wants? Just remember who's in charge around here. I'm sorry. I've already said too much. Talk to Second Counselor Arano if you're willing to help us. What? Well, I am, I am, I am. And uh, Surely he's in bed, right? Surely he's in bed, which is where I should be. It's... it's... it's morning, is it? If we sleep, we're gonna... we're gonna wake up... Somewhere completely different. You know we are. Would he be in there? Splendid. Another mouth to feed. Yeah, you're not much help, are you? I think this is I where... I trust you're not planning any trouble. What can I do for you, friend? No, everyone's asleep. No, nothing, nothing. Okay, right. You look, just... just... Do we still have the room? Probably not. Let's find somewhere warm to sit, and I'm just gonna... I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. 
I'm gonna read some books. Keep awake. Keep awake. Headed east. May want to give the Talmithran a wide berth. I don't like the looks of that place one bit. So, um... You wouldn't be interested in the job of being a steward there, then, I guess. Yeah, I'm not totally sure I'm learning particularly efficiently. <laughs> this sleep deprived. No one's awake yet. Oh, fine. We're well, gonna keep going. Just, just. If I look like I'm nodding over in my seat, just prod me, okay? Okay. Am I hearing other people? Are other people now moving around? I'm definitely hearing somebody hum. Humming in our Teldrin Sero. Probably not somebody who's going to... Slitter? Definitely gonna give this place the once over at some point. Right now I'm just looking for people who might be awake so that I could convince them to work for Neloth before I pass out. Isn't that a guy that's working here? Do you think he do you think he'd like a change of scenery? Okay, I tell you what. Let's have some, No 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 just I was gonna have breakfast. Just, 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 just. Lead the way. Oh, out of curiosity. I am here for you. Can you sing for me here? Mind if I ask you to do something? Sure. Relax, but no, no. Okay, let us get back to it. Good idea. I know, I know I can get you to sing for me if I'm seated, but I want one of those... Improvised songs. See, you have earned it. Oh, it's when we're out traveling. You only do those improvised songs when we're out traveling. Yeah, you just didn't seem to want to do one earlier. <sighs> Which was a little disappointing. I can't. I can't. I've got a crick in my. I've got a crick in my. <sighs> Can we change places? You met Sheer Gorath, and he did not turn you into a block of cheese. Congratulations. Yeah. That's an. Odd thing to bring up right now, but to be honest, we're sleep deprived and more than a little peckish, so yes, thoughts of cheese, why not? Um, I'm just checking the anything new got a reason. See, you've got cheese, you've still got four sweet rolls, you've not really been eating many of them. Should I be worried? You're going through phases at the moment. You'll suddenly eat four within the space of 30 seconds, and then suddenly you won't eat any for a while. I mean, I do appreciate this place is messing with us more than a little. But, you know, what steps? Does that mean people are waking up? That would be nice, wouldn't it? Ooh. Okay, well, I'm going to sort myself out breakfast-wise. I am thinking apple pie. Because who doesn't love a little apple pie? Yes, it... Okay, it looks like everybody is waking up. Excellent. Maybe we can have a chat with some people and... Uh, see if anybody... Is that... Teldrin Sero, Blade for Hire. If you have the coin, I'm at your service. Yeah, I, I think he wants somebody who can make tea, not stab people for Welcome him. to the Retching Nets Corner Club, me lord. If you need anything, 
Master Geldis will be happy to help you. Right, yeah. Well, I was just... We have all sorts of authentic dark elf food and drink here. Geldis spares no expense. Right. Wait a minute, give me a second. Mm -hmm. Okay, no, Geldis may be a tough boss, but I can put up with it. Keeps a roof over me head. Yeah, he does shout at you an awful lot, though, doesn't he? I have noticed that a few times. I don't mind working at the wretching niche, but I was hoping for a bit more when I moved the Solstein. Okay, well... Oh, well. No, 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 no. How would you like to be the new steward of Tel Mithrin? Uh, you mean leave Ravenrock for good? To go work for a crazed Telvani wizard? Okay. Sure. Just let me get me things. On second thought, never mind. I can get new stuff. I'm sorry, were you being sarcastic or... You seem awfully eager. Well, I've never been one to pass up an opportunity. Sorry to run, but I'm off to my new job. What? Really? You're not moving. Are you... are you messing with me? Nailoth may be crazy, but it's better than staying in Ravenrock. All right, then. Okay. Yeah, well, uh, well, congratulations on your new job. Just... Okay, that was... Time to go. I work for Mogul. Okay. You got a problem, you talk to him. I've got lots of problems. I can't imagine someone called Mobile is going to uh, be able to fix them f for me. That was surprisingly easy. He literally jumped at the chance. What on earth is going on? Yeah. Right, I've got to go and see the, the counsellor, yes? I'm sorry, I've already said too much. Talk to Second Councillor Rorano if you're willing to help us. Okay, well, we need sleep, but let's face it, we don't know what's going to happen after that. I, I, I do want to head back to Neloth now, but I am going to need sleep before we do that. So let's just talk to the Councillor whilst we're here, I guess. Find out what he wants. See if it's uh, something we're interested in. I suppose it can't harm... It can't hurt to, uh, you know. Is that normal? Is that normal? I mean, it was happening once before we were here. Is this, this is, this is the guy in charge, right? Is this where the counselor works? Does the, does the... Yeah. I trust you're not planning any trouble. What can I do for you, friend? Well, there's, there's explosions outside, so if you want to... Okay. Um, I was looking for the... You're, okay, you're the, you're the guy in charge, yes? Travelling beyond the bulwark will be much safer as a result of May your victory at Fort Frostmoth. Oh. I was concerned Many about thanks. Oh, you've heard about that. Well, then I'm, you're absolutely welcome, of course. It's the least I could do. Um, out of curiosity, how are things? Now that the mines are open again. With the mines open, Raven Rock has become a significant colony of the Dunma people again. I've been able to convince my superiors at House Redoran to send me the resources that they've been denying, now that we're deemed more important. Okay. Soon, we'll have a steady supply of workers and materials to keep things going for years to come. Okay, well that is good news. That's, that's great news, of course, yes. Um... And you, you rule all of Solstheim. I'm gonna guess that's a no. Solstheim is theoretically under my rule. But without revenue from the mine, I lack the resources to actually govern anything but Ravenrock itself. Not that there's much beyond the confines of our town anyway. Right, but now that the mine is open, once the revenue starts flowing again, this place could actually, you might end up really running the whole of Solstheim. And Ravenrock is the only settlement on the island? Well, there's a small enclave of Nords to the north in Skull Village. They pretty much keep to themselves, and we both like it that way. Then there's Telmithrin to the east. The Telvani live out there. Sort of a strange lot. 
But since we're both from Morrowind, we get along. Other than that, Solstheim is crawling with bandits and reeklings. But that's to be expected living in a frontier like this. Right, what is House Red Room? That's kind of... I already know that, and it also sounds a little ignorant. I was just wondering if you have something similar to... The, the Nords have this thing called a Thane ship. It was just, it was just a random thought. I, I was actually looking... My doors are open if you wish to discuss matters involving Raven Rock. Oh, well, thank you very much. Um, the True Nobles... Okay. Wait, can I tell you what? Let's let's um leave that for uh, another time. Uh, yes, I was looking for for you brought Raven Rock back from the brink, traveler. I don't know how to thank you. Well, um, you can tell me where the counselor is. The second counselor, excuse me. Adril, wasn't it? Um, let's. Okay, does he have a house over here? You're not. Ah! Abandoned building. Oh, that's a... No. I think that's him. Oh, were you... For a strange second, it looked like your shadow was that of a hawk, so it was just that it was flying overhead at the time. Um, yes, apparently you wanted a word. Thank you for coming. Well, you're welcome. After everything you've already done for Ravenrock, I hate to ask for more, but I can't risk Councillor Morvain being killed. He's in danger of being killed. Is this something to do with the explosions that keep going on? The Ulan family of House Lalu, a rival great house, Lalu. has placed a death mark on the councillor's head. A death mark? Oh, is that is that going to be like for the Morak Tong? Why would Ulans want him dead? It's a private matter. Let's just say they seek revenge for the execution of one of their own, ordered by Councillor Morvane himself. The problem is, I don't have any solid proof that anyone from House Lalu is hidden among us. Only my suspicions. Hmm. Your concern seems justified. He ordered the execution. It's on his head, not yours. You sound paranoid. No, 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 no. Your concerns seem valid. What do you need from me, though? It may be justified, but it certainly isn't appreciated. Councillor Morvane simply feels that I'm being paranoid. I'm afraid that one day I'll awaken and discover him dead. But I don't want it to come to that. Understandable. So you feel an attack on the Councillor is imminent? I do. I've received some information from my sources that there could be elements of Ulan's house, House Lalu, already in Ravenrock. And you've not acted upon that information because...? Ravenrock is a small settlement. So it's hard to accomplish anything in secret. If any of them is from House Lalu, I wouldn't be able to make a move without them knowing. Whereas, what will you do? How can I help? Whereas, of course, you know, I'm an unknown. I had a feeling you would be willing for now. to listen to me. So where do I begin? I need you to start out by being my eyes and ears. Search Raven Rock. See if you can root out these traitors. Okay. The best place to start would be Geldis Sadri, over at the Retching Netch Corner Club. If he provides you any leads, check them out before bringing them to my attention. I can't afford to make any mistakes. Okay. Well, uh, speak right. I'm, well, I do need a room from him anyway. What can you tell me about ha House Lalu? Traitors. A lot of them. Okay. Their collaboration with the Empire may have given them unrivaled political and economic strength, but their hearts weren't with the Dunmer people. Okay, and that uh, was uh, their downfall? Lalu deserved every bit of hatred they received once the Empire released its grasp on Morrowind. Having passed ties to the Empire immediately turned them into the scapegoat for the Dunmer people's suffering. 
And what happened to them? They had welcomed the Empire with open arms and benefited from it. When everything was said and done, they were no longer recognized as a great house and were dismissed from the Council. Ooh. Okay then. Um... Why do the Dunma hate the Empire? Is it something to do with the... the Thalmor? During the Oblivion Crisis, gates to the Plain of Oblivion opened all over Morrowind. Right. The Empire pulled most of its forces out of Morrowind to deal with the gates in their own homeland, leaving us virtually defenseless. Ah. We had no standing army at the time, just uncoordinated pockets of resistance. And how did the Dunmas survive that? House Redoran took charge and was slowly able to build an army. It took years, but it became a force to be reckoned with. When the Argonians invaded years later, House Redoran's army was able to prevent them from sweeping across all of Morrowind. It would be fair to say that House Redoran literally saved the Dunma people from destruction. <laughs> fair enough. Um... You mentioned sources. I maintain a few contacts in other Dunma settlements across Tamriel. Most hail from House Redoran, but there are a few from other houses. Okay. Why don't you ask them to investigate? Because, again, they're not outsiders. Most of my contacts live leagues away from Solstein. Also that. Sending the occasional message back and forth is all we can manage, and sometimes takes months or more to arrive. Yeah. However, any information we can glean in times like this, I consider vital to House Redoran's survival. All right, well, yeah, no, no problem, you've... Don't worry, you can trust Geldus. He's been with us for a long time. Yes. I like him. He's the sort of person who has contacts all over the place. Thinking ahead. Hmm. Yeah, we can look into this for them, I guess. I mean, we're going back there to get a night's day. I really would like, actually, to make it through the day and then sleep in the evening, if at all possible. Basically, because if we wander off somewhere, I want to wake up in the morning. I don't want to sleep during the day, wake up in the middle of the night, in the middle of nowhere. I know that's an odd thing to think. i tell you what, though. Where are all the traders? We've got things to sell. We've got things to s Is nobody... Are they not awake yet? Hello. Mogrel. I'll give you this warning only once. Stay out of my way, and we'll do just fine. Okay. Until next time. Thank you for the information. I will stay out of your way, because you are an unpleasant person. And honestly, I don't think you have anything interesting to say. Right, then. All right, let's go and talk to the barman. Ooh, get a room. we got to get a room. Take a seat and get the cold out. And are any of these traders? If any of you are traders, get back out there and start buying and selling, because I've got stuff to buy and sell, more specifically to sell. Okay, so you're here already, aren't you? Geldis? <laughs> I need to know if you've heard anything about House Lalu setting foot on the island. I'm not holding back. If I knew something, I wouldn't wait until you strolled in. I'd come find you. I'm sorry, I shouldn't bark at you like that. You're doing your job, Adril. No one can fault you for that. Right, okay. Uh, well, you are, uh, I'm gonna try as well. Okay, well, here's the thing. Could you? The mine's open, people are buying drinks, and I'm making money again. Right. Just like old time. Well, I'd like to rent a room. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Yes, and you're going to show me... I'll show you to your room. To my right room, this yes. way. I figure maybe if I talk to him in private, it'll uh, spill the beans. If he can... Oh, he's got to go for a long way around. You ever thought of maybe moving one or two of these barrels? Then you could just walk around there. Mm. A lot more yum, yum, yum. A sweet roll never disappoints. I'm oddly relieved to hear you say that. Okay. Right. So, 
You just, uh... Thank God. Let I, me know if there's anything else you need. I really wish you wouldn't wipe your feet on the bed, though. Uh, okay, so... How about a drink for the hero who cleared Fort Frostmoth? Give me a second. I said I was relieved to hear you eat one! Adril Arana said you might be able to help me. Well, well. Adril's got himself a spy, does he? Okay. Azura knows he needs all the help he can get. He's been chasing the Ulins for years now. Right. You think he's mistaken? No. I just think he's going about this the wrong way. And do you have a better idea? Actually, I do. Okay. If you want to catch those slippery slaughterfish, you need to let them come to you. And how exactly do I get them to do that? There's an Ulan ancestral tomb near the temple. Someone's been leaving ash yam offerings on the altar inside. Okay. If you were to wait inside for whomever that is, I'm betting they'll have some of the answers you're looking for. Why haven't you told Adril about this? Oh, I'm gonna take a wild stab in the dark here. This is probably somewhat sacrilegious, and another Dunmer would not want to do this. What makes you think I have it? Any time Adril and the Redoran Guard made a move, the Ulins must have been one step ahead and didn't show up. Or all that. Okay, um, well, thank you for the tip. You can thank me if it works. Until then, I'd head to the tomb and wait until your visitor shows up. It's not a... Why do Dunmer leave Ashyams in the tombs? When a Dunmer is laid to rest, the body is burned and returned to the ashen soil. Since the Ashyam is born of the very same soil, it represents rebirth and renewal. The fact that life ends and begins anew. Okay. Why... D yeah, this could be useful information. Why did Councillor Morvane execute an Ulan? Back in 95, Vila Ulan came to Ravenrock with a plan to take over our town. But Fetcher thought he could stir up the locals and use them against the Redoran Guard and then murder Councillor Morvane when we weren't looking. And he did this alone? He arrived alone, but spread enough coin around to start changing people's minds. Half the bloody town joined his side. Can you believe that? Yes. If he spent enough money. How did Villa get caught? He underestimated the Redder and Gar. They were organized and brought a swift end to the coup. Vila tried to run, but he was caught by Captain Veleth himself. Vila Ulan was executed a short time later, and his remains placed in the Ulan ancestral tomb. Okay. I wonder when they last cleaned their mugs here. Yeah, I, he, uh, don't take that personally. Uh, oh. Watch yourself out there. Looks like an ash storm might be brewing. Yeah, thanks. That was a, that was a little rude, all things considering. The man is, in fact, helping us out. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, do you have any... The mines open, people are buying drinks, and I'm making money again. Just like old times. Right, I just want to refill my water. Of course. Also, yeah, on a, on a, you, you, you're not going to buy anything, but what's the speciality of the house? I don't know. Uh, what have you got for sale? Take a look. You've probably not... More importantly, what will you buy from me? Food. Okay. Have an ash yam. We need Serve something. No okay. We need something to keep us awake for the next few hours. It's it's almost noon. We need to resist the urge to fall asleep because if we do, we'll probably wake up in the middle of the night, God knows where. So we can either hang around here hoping some traders appear. Or we could run to Neloth and find out how he's doing. But then we're probably going to be getting to Neloth around the time night falls. So I think overall, the sensible thing to do would be to just... Hang around here. And uh, case this place out. What do you think? Oh. Are you going to be cold? 
Something on your mind? Well, I was I was thinking maybe what I would do I is... I will bear your burdens gladly. ...give you a cloak, because I was going to leave you out here while I went and um, cased the place out. I may come back out and... There you go. Look at that. Hmm? Let us go. Are you just... In fact, no, no. Come Changing over. position. Come, come here. Come here. Come here. Just um, just, just be hanging around here. Yeah, you're just you're keeping warm, right? I will miss you. You keep your eye on that door to make sure <laughs> you pay attention to anyone who comes in. I need to occupy my mind while I wait. Yeah, you do that. You do that. I'm just gonna. I'm sheltering here from from the ash. It, it's not snow, it's ash, I think. I may be wrong, but I don't think I am. If I, um... If I take something here, is it going to be disrespectful to the ancestors? Okay, let me, let me rephrase that. If I take something here, are the ancestors going to jump out of their... going to have to hang around here. I heard footsteps. Who are you? going to do anything. Okay. So, it's definitely her. So now what? Am I still invisible? Yes. Tell Adriel the news, I guess. All right. And he is. Oh, oh, do I need to. Do I need to get some proof? Do I need to get some proof? Discover the identity of the. I could have sworn I. I already did. I 
I'm pretty damn sure. Oh, uh, do I need to take some proof? Right, no, I did right. Hmm. Hmm, I don't need a key. I do not need the key. No, I do not. Okay. No, I just needed confirmation. I needed confirmation. Okay. And... Where is he now? He's this way, right? Come! Okay, let's go. I believe I know who... The, uh, operative is... Where? Oh, he's in the bar. Move along. Uh, I'm moving along. You can see me moving. Opening a door. Magazine, moving. Can't move more along than I'm moving. Okay. I hope gold has proved useful. Have you made any progress? Mm, yes, I have, actually. I suspect Telisu Severin is the culprit. Telisu. Are you sure? Well, I saw her in the Ulan tomb, basically. So Geldus' plan worked, eh? Every time we tried it, no one would ever show up. Mm. If Telesu's involved in any sort of plot to harm Councillor Morve, I'm going to need hard evidence to prove it. So go search their house. Yes, there you go, search their house. I'm not kicking down anyone's door until I have solid evidence in hand. Right, no. If you're wrong about Telesu, Things would quickly go downhill around here, and the real culprits might slip away. I can't afford for that to happen. Now, what if they try to stop me? I don't think that's going to be much of a problem. I will, I will search the house. Where is it? If you have evidence and it places your life in peril, I would expect you to do whatever you must to keep yourself alive. Okay, so you're saying I yeah, can... Yeah, this key should open the front door of the manor in case they've locked it. Good luck. I'm not going to tell you that that was probably not necessary, but okay. Can you tell me more about the Severin family? Telesu is wife to the family patriarch, oh. Vendel. They have a single child, a daughter here. named Miri. Yeah, I heard they it. arrived here ten years ago and have here. been nothing but a benefit to Raven Rock ever since. No a benefit? How? They're quite wealthy, and they've been quite generous by sharing their fortune with the community. They've contributed coin, food, supplies, even helped repair a few of the buildings in town with their own hands. Okay, nothing unusual about them at all. I mean, I mean, repairing buildings with their own hands, I mean, that does seem to be a bit of an epidemic at the moment, doesn't it? But nothing unusual about them at all. People have mentioned it's a bit odd about how close in age Mary appears to be to her father, but that's hardly a cause for alarm. Just make sure you find mm. solid evidence. If I accuse them without it, I'll be the laughing stock of the colony. Okay, so you... Why do the Ulans have a tomb in Ravenrock? So you... Are you absolutely sure they're an actual family and not just, you know, a fabrication? Why do the Ulans have a tomb in Ravenrock? Villa Ulan wasn't the first Ulan to live in Ravenrock. His father, Valen Ulan, was one of the first Dunmen to settle here. Unlike his son, Villa, Valen was a good man. He contributed to the community and was quite respected. When Valen died, his family provided the funds to construct the tomb. But you told me the how that you told me House Lalu was disliked. The Ulan family being a part of House Lalu didn't matter. Okay. It's Dunmer's tradition for the ashes of the deceased to be placed in an ancestral tomb. Valen Ulan and his son's remains were both laid to rest there because that's what he'd requested. Okay. Be careful. If the Severans have betrayed us, then they'll be well armed. Yeah, that is I thought not... I told you I didn't want you hanging around here. Yeah, I heard you before. I just don't care. You won't kick me out of here, and we both know it. Look, we've been over this. I paid you off. I don't owe you a thing. And I'm supposed to run my operation outside in a pile of ash? I don't think so. Operation? I'm not asking you if I can stay. I'm telling you. Now that's the end of it. Hmm. What? 
Don't you have... Aloth may be crazy, but it's better than staying in Raven Rock. True. I can't help but notice... I'm off to take up my new position with Master Naloth. Well, that's not really true, is it? Until next time. You've moved precisely... Well, I'm not going to say precisely. Let's go approximately more to life a fort. Than sweeping and cleaning all day. Okay, I never mind. for Mogul. You got a problem? You talk to him. Uh, he's not exactly the talkative type, right? So we're just going to check out the map. You can go where you please, but I'd say stay inside the bulwark. Seriously, if if there's an ash fall. Does everyone just stay inside? Another nobody, nobody. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna go in Take their houses. I got some stuff sure to sell. I'm sure find what you're looking for. I... If not, let me know. I might have it stored away. Okay. You've been a good friend to me. That means something. All right, so, but you, you'll buy things from me. That's good. That's good. Looking cause... to protect yourself or deal some damage? I'm just looking to lighten the load because I am going somewhere. You never know what. I might need to pick up, and you know how it is. You, you know how it is, right? So, I'm just... There you go. Oh, okay. Um... You... Your actions here have been a blessing to us all, Sergio. Yeah, thanks. Next uh, time you're hungry, stop by. I always have plenty of food for sale. Yeah, but you won't sell it here, I've noticed. I don't know who sent you here, but you've given us something to build on here. I hope someday we can repay you for your kindness. Well, I'm... Destroying the ash spawn has made it safer to work in the fields. Thank you. Okay, so you won't... You won't buy and sell Aaron. in the house. Okay, fine. So it's it's just Glover that will sell in the house? I've still got some heavy stuff to sell, is kind of what I'm getting at. Bethis, I'll... It's busier now that things are starting to look up. I guess I might stay a bit longer after all. Okay, I do actually have some East, East Empire, Empire pendants, pendants are scattered mm -hmm. all over. Mm -hmm. so leave no stone. Mm -hmm. I have a few. Maybe I'll see how much they sell for. Uh, uh, trailer. The mines are open and the shop is busy again. Thank you. No, but it's not. That's the thing. The Keep shop is not safe. busy. The shop is not so busy. Do you know why the shop is place. not busy? Because nobody is manning the shop. Shops can only be busy if people are actually in the shop buying and selling. Currently, we have somebody here attempting to sell and nobody here attempting to buy. So no, it... Yeah, okay, I'm very sleep deprived. Um, where are we, where are we, we okay, where was that manor? Right. Okay. Is... Ah, oh, right. Okay, so... I'm thinking we do the same thing. I think we do the same thing. Um... You just, um... You just... Hang around here. I will be here. Yeah? Keep, keep an eye on things. I'm gonna sneak in there and see what I can... Um... of troubles. Okay, I need to focus. I am going to do a um, proper sweet rolling, not that I see much evidence of sweet rolls in Raven Rock at some point. Is that a good sign? Tell you. 
somewhat. Somewhere a little uh, out of sight. And... Okay, I did hear footsteps. Ooh, okay. Yes. So we do have people here. Interesting, is that normal? Hmm. An enchanting bench. How can we bench? This place is... Okay, this place is extremely well stocked. That is... Suspicious in itself. These people. Well, honestly? Have the sort of house I'd like set up. They've got. <gasps> All right. <clears throat> I'm not doing a proper sweet roll right now, but... You just, you just, you've got to take those moments when... Red Year Volume 2. Have I got... I've got... I must have Volume 1 already. You know what? Okay, you're not here to... Okay, look. I feel better now. I do. I feel... I feel better. I feel better. Potato soup. All right. Okay. So what am I looking for? I'm looking for some sort of evidence. Oh. That, that could be evidence. Growing ash yams. Mm, makes sense. And... This... Sort of lift the Ulan matter. This. This would seem to be what is required. The Ulan matter. Dear Councillor Saldin, in a matter of days, I believe we'll be ready. Our forces hidden within the ash. Fallow Citadel have been training night and day, ready to strike when we give the signal. With Captain Veleth distracted by the ash spawn attacks, the timing seems perfect. I've waited nearly a decade to exact my revenge on Lerin Morvane for the death of my ancestors, and I long for the moment my blade will be drawn across his throat. The next letter you'll receive from me will include his head in a sack. Display it proudly in the halls of House Lalu, brother, Vendil Ulan. Hmm. So Vendel Severin is really Vendel Ulan. And I now have the proof. Because apparently Vendel Ulan is stupid enough to leave behind a written confession. 